Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to design a carousel slider in Adobe XD. So to start with, we're going to select Web 1920, and that will give us our artboard. Now first select the rectangle tool, left click, and draw a four-sided shape. Now we're going to enter the sizes specifically up here. So the width is 970, and the height will make that 450. Untick border, and we'll just give this a gray fill. Something like this for now. And you should be able to drag this, and Adobe XD will nicely position this in the center of the artboard for you with the help of these guides. And then we can hold shift to drag this straight up to the top. And then I'm going to hold shift and use the down arrow key just to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to be focusing on the carousel, but imagine this is on a website and there would be header navigation up here. So we're just going to leave that bit of space. But now we can zoom in on the slider itself. So the first thing is I'm going to add an image. So I've got my image here, and I'm just going to select this photo and drag that onto the gray box. And you'll see it adds it nicely into that placeholder space. Now next, I'm going to select this, go up to Object and Lock. Just because when we're creating the arrows and the other elements in a minute, we don't want to accidentally move this around. So you'll see now that I can't move this accidentally. To unlock it, just go up to Object and select Lock again, and it will unlock that layer. So the first thing we're going to do is create the arrow. So this is the left and right arrow that you can use to slide through the different carousel slides. So just select the pen tool, left click anywhere on the artboard, hold Shift to make sure the line is at 45 degrees, left click again, and we'll do the same again and you'll see that the guides nicely line up there. So if you left click for a third time, it will create your arrow. And then we can hold shift and scale this down. And just drag that over here. And I'm going to give this a color of white. And you can specify white by typing FFF, FFF. That is the hex color for white. And I'm going to give this a width of two, just so it's a little bit thicker and possibly increase the size a tiny bit, just so it's visible. And then what we can do with the arrow selected, we can left click and hold shift. Ah, We need to unlock this layer first to do this. So if we select the background layer and go up to object and lock, you'll see now I can move it around again. With that background selected, hold shift and click on the arrow. And then you can use this one here, align vertically, and it will just make sure that this is vertically central. And we can also hold shift to drag that to the right. And then still holding shift and using the left arrow key, just go one, two, three, four, and nudge that in from the side. Now, if you select the arrow and press command D on the Mac, it will duplicate that shape and you can hold shift to drag this over to the left. We can also hold shift and rotate to rotate this 180 degrees. And again, we'll drag this all the way to the left, hold shift, and then using the right arrow key, just go one, two, three, four. So we know that the distance of the arrow to the edge of the graphic is equal on both sides. So now, we can lock this background image again, go up to Object, Lock. And now we're just going to create the circles at the bottom. Now these are what can also be used to navigate the slides as well as the arrows. So if you just left click and hold Shift to create a circle, untick border, we're going to have these 10 pixels wide and 10 pixels high. So there's one. And if we press Command D, on the Mac and hold shift and use that right arrow key and then do that again. Command D to duplicate, hold shift, right arrow key, just nudge that out 
So the space between all of these three dots is equal. And then we can left click and hold shift to select both of these two dots on the right. And we'll just drop the opacity down to 50%. You can type in 50 if the slider is a little bit fiddly. So this first one here is the current slide. This is the active slide. And these other two dots represent the inactive slides. Now we can hold shift and select all of these circles, go up to object and group them together. So now we can drag these around as one element. That also means that we can unlock our background layer and then hold shift and select our little dots. And now we can align these horizontally. So those dots now go perfectly in the center. And we can also drag them to the bottom, hold shift, and you guessed it, use the arrow keys to nudge those up. Now I'm not going to nudge them up four like I did before. I'm just going to nudge them up two because I don't want them to intrude too much on the graphic. And then you'll be able to add your text, your buttons, call to actions, whatever you like on your graphic. But this is how you set up a carousel slide design in Adobe XD. As always guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.